audible to you guys a quick confirmation from your end is i am audible I'm audible or not? Okay, okay, sure, sure. Okay, then we'll start the session, guys. Uh, so today we will revise those concepts, and uh, today I will show you one new concept which in the industry we mostly use. When uh, you are, uh, when if you are in the future, if you want to apply as a data analytics or a data scientist uh, in Power BI, also you mostly work. Okay, at that time, whatever I am using right now, I am working in Power BI mostly in my company. So that's why whatever I am using, I am uh, telling you that in that manner only. If, uh, what whatever in in the, in the industry standards, what they are using, I am teaching in that manner. So let me uh, first uh, share the screen with you and we'll start the session then. Okay, all right. Uh, is my screen is visible to you guys? Please give me a confirmation from your end. Is my screen is visible or not? Uh, let me open the Power BI desktop, first of all. And let me click on this report. How many of you are confident how to make a report, how to publish it, how to make a dashboard? Tell me frankly, how many of you have confidence of that? Power BI uh, service, how to make a dashboard. How many of you knows that? At least how many of you have a report? I can publish in Power BI service and I can make a dashboard. Yes, guys. Nobody? Nobody is there amongst you is confident how to create a report. Report means what in Power BI desktop? Can I create a report or dashboard? A, a few, give, I will ask few questions. Let's see that how many of you have learned actually Power BI. In Power BI uh, desktop, can I create a report or a dashboard? Is I am audible to you guys? I am audible to you. Report. Okay. And if I want to make a dashboard, then how we can make a dashboard? What I need to do? Okay, where I can make a dashboard? Okay, fine. Yeah, if that we can create a report in Power BI service, I can make a dashboard. First of all, let me tell you uh, again, uh, let me load the data, get data, sample superstore data, open it. In that order sheet, open the order sheet. Uh, this, this is the preview of that. And let me load the data.
Hmm. The data has been loaded. Today, let me explain you uh, that uh, few visualizations I will create. Let me click over here. This is the, I will say that category wise, what is the profit? I will say that category wise profit, few visualizations I will create. This is one visualization. Then uh, let me create a pie chart, region wise sales, region wise sales, uh, region wise, we'll see the sales, okay, like that, visualizations we have created, okay. Hmm. Uh, today, let me explain you one thing, uh, one new concept I will tell you today. The new concept is like that. Let me drag and drop over here. Here also. I will explain you schedule refresh. Schedule refresh is one which we use mostly in the company. Schedule refresh. Schedule refresh. Like that. Schedule refresh my, yeah. Let me explain you that also. Like that. Okay, schedule refresh topic, we will see that. Till now, any questions from your end, guys, please tell me first of all. I will explain you one new concept. It is very easy also, not so much tough, but it is very easy. Before that, tell, let me tell uh, ask your questions. If you have your, your questions, let me uh, ask first that if you have any problem. Let me correct it. Spelling is... Schedule, schedule, refresh topic. You also search it, schedule, refresh topic. Huh? Today we will see that, okay, in Power BI. Till now, any questions from your end? Please tell me, guys. Any questions from your end? You can ask me. And please mark, guys, if you are learning, really wants to learn, uh, uh, means power bi and all that whatever i am topic which i am taking that is really very helpful guys even in the industry we are using it any questions till now from your end mm, okay no no answer is coming that means that you don't have any questions okay today we will see the schedule refresh topic schedule refresh is not there uh, I will say that in Power BI desktop, schedule refresh topic is not there. In Power BI service, I am having schedule refresh topic. First of all, we have created two reports, profit by category and sum of sales by region. Okay. Ha, today I will show you that also. Okay. Now, this is my report view. Report, this is my report. So, in Power BI desktop, I can make a report. And this is the report view. I can make a report, make mark down, guys. In Power BI desktop, I cannot make a dashboard. Okay, now I want to make a dashboard. What I will do that, I will go in the publish. In the publish, first it will ask you, I want to save it. Right now it don't have any name. I want to save it first. So I will say that save it. It will ask me any name. And this is the location where this report uh, where this file will going to be saved. Let me give the name as 6th April report. Okay, 6th April report and save it. This is the location also where it is saving. Save it. Okay, 6th April report is there. Now I want to publish it. In the publish, it is asking the workspace. 
what is that i will show you once i will be in the power bi service i will show you my workspace is what let me click here my workspace and let uh, click on the select option hmm. it is saying that the report has been published okay in power bi service okay how i can go to the power bi service directly here i will click on here and then i will click on power bi service option power bi service and let me click here the uh, email address i hope everyone has been signing in power bi service guys power bi service now under power bi service this is the power bi service guys power bi service okay now here under that i will click here my workspace my workspace under my workspace just a sec under my workspace this is the my workspace is there okay okay fine now which right now what i am make a report in power bi uh, desktop i have make the report 6th april report is there now let me see here power bi desktop in power bi desktop always want internet this is the browser in that i am opening power bi service okay now 6th april report is there this is the report and along with that i have publish only report but along with that data has been loaded the data is called as semantic model the data has been called as semantic model and from here you can see that whether it is a report or a semantic model just a second guys so uh, let me tell you that here it is a report and it is a semantic model now what do you understand by semantic model guys you don't if you have a question also semantic model means your data if i am publishing any report i publish only report but along with that this is the data guys it is also coming over here in the semantic model it is called as data and this is called as report right now only report is there dashboard has been not created till now i need to create a dashboard and how i created it just i publish it publish it in power bi service and then when i came to here in power bi service i come to here my workspace in that so many things are there report uh, dashboard and tables are there uh, tables are there data is there how i can see that by by the type you can see that this is the report this is semantic model means data is there now one student has asked me that how to create a dashboard so what i will do that is i will go here 6th april report is there let me click here 6th april report and this is the uh, this is the uh, uh, graph which i have created where i have created in power bi service uh, sorry in power bi desktop i have created but i have published it in power bi service so that's why in power bi service also i can see it okay but this is only a report and from let me here you can see that you can download this file you can export it you can share with your any friend also these options are available with okay now let me click here on the three dots on the three dots let me click here and then pin to dashboard this is how i can make a report to a dashboard what i will click here pin to dashboard and they will ask so how many dashboard are existing dashboard are there right now in power bi service it will going to be ask me whether i want to publish this report in a existing dashboard or new dashboard let me click here on the new dashboard and let me give any name tell me the name of this dashboard you can give any name to the dashboard tell me can you suggest any name
Can anyone suggest me any name of the dashboard? Schedule refresh. Okay, fine. Schedule refresh dashboard. Okay, and again I will get you the name sixth April. Fine. Six, six step. Fine. Schedule refresh dashboard six step. I will click here pin line. Go to dashboard. And this is the dashboard, guys. Now, anybody will tell me, uh, ask me that what is the difference between report and dashboard? So, you will go here under my workspace only. Now, you have created schedule refresh dashboard. Yes. See, this is the schedule refresh dashboard has been created. Now you have only created it. And the type is dashboard. Once I will click here on the dashboard. See, this is the dashboard. What is the difference between report and dashboard? I will say that mostly dashboard are better in, uh, I will say that visualization. Dashboards are better in visualization part. So again, I will come here to my workspace. In the my workspace, 6th April report has been roundly in front of you. I have created 6th, 6th April. Now tell me what is the difference between report, semantic model, and uh, what is that schedule refresh dashboard? Tell me what is the difference between report and semantic model? First of all, tell me like that. Who will tell me what is the difference between report and semantic model? Yes. Who will tell me report and semantic model difference? Anybody of you? What is the difference between report and semantic model? Nobody? Yes. In semantic model, your data is there. And in report, simple data is there. If I will click over here, nothing will going to be show. Your data will going to be show. That is your location. And this is the in the semantic model my location, my workspace in that this data is in there. Only, always remember guys, in semantic model data is there. Okay. Now, let me explain you schedule refresh. What do you understand by schedule refresh? Let me, first of all, let me open it, notepad. Hmm. Let me click here. Huh. Let me explain you schedule refresh first of all. The theory I will explain you, then I will uh, tell you the practical thing, okay? Hmm. Let me tell you here. Schedule. Schedule, schedule, refresh. Okay, fine. Hmm. Now, here is my main data. Main data. Let me open the main data also with you. First, understand the theory, then I will explain you practically, show you practically the thing inside Power BI. Data set, sample superstore data. This is was my data, sample superstore. Yeah. 
this is my main data okay now schedule refresh if i will change make changes in the main data okay uh, let me change uh, let me see also whether that data because so many files were there schedule refresh inside how i can see the okay one more question let's see that this is the uh, sample superstore i want to see the path from where i have load the data from where i can see the path of the data who will answer me this question first of all i have load the data but what is the location of the data where i can see the location of the data guys location of the data location of the data tell me guys where i can see the location of the data this order sheet from where i have loaded it where i can see that anybody of you can answer this question in the starting i have told you that one uh not in semantic model i will say that wait a minute in power bi desktop how i can say that i will go here in the transform data in the transform data here i can see that if i will click on the source now here i can see that in in user in ankita desktop one folder is there inside power bi inside that data set is one folder inside that sample super store is there so here it is data set that desktop power bi dex data set inside sample super store this is the data set guys sample super store file is there so this is the data set which i have loaded here now let me change it uh let me change it to category in the category there are three categories furniture office supply and technology let me click here on the technology and let me click on this okay now from uh, let me change the main data from technology let me change it into it it from technology i am changing it into it and let me drag and drop so you can see that the technology has been changed into it that is okay because main data i am changing it ha huh? and let me see do that control s control s main data i have changed so what i will do that i will come here ha huh? in the main data i have make a changes guys i have make a changes in the main data in front of you now the technology i have converted into it okay here also it should be uh, shown right now main data has been changed technology we replace the name into it just like that nowadays it is a in a, a very trending that every state changes their name uh, before that uh, allahabad was there in up allahabad now it is called as one state uh, one city is there in uttar pradesh called as previously it was called allahabad now the chief minister yogi adityanath has changed the name from allahabad to anybody who is from uttar pradesh anybody guys state city name got changed or uh, anybody from hyderabad uh, right now means our uh, uh, what uh, 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 one of the minister used to say that change the name of hyderabad to bhagyanagar like that they used to tell okay so they used to change the name so just like that i am changing technology name to it in the main data i have make a changes here technology i have converted into it i have put control s and let's see that but in the main data also it should be changes here the technology is there it should convert it into it so what i will do i will refresh it refresh it now can you see that here the technology has been converted into it if i need to change it y axis 
Hmm. It is there or not? Please tell me, guys. Technology has been changes into IT. It is done or not? Because in the main data, I have make a changes, and from the main data, I have prepared this graph. So whatever the changes in the main data, it should reflect in the graph also. Agree or not? Understand or not, guys? Please tell me. Please tell me. Please tell me, guys. In the main data, I have made a changes. What I have made a changes only. I previously it was technology. I have changes the name of technology into IT in the main data. And from the main data, I have prepared this uh, graph. So here also the technology, I have changed it into IT. But previously I have created it. But once I have refreshed it, whatever the changes in the main data I have done, the same changes I can see over here also. Technology is converted into IT. How many of you are getting it? Please tell me, guys. Are you getting it or not? Please tell me, guys. Tell me, guys. Please tell me what I have done. In the main data, I have made some changes. Okay. In the main data. And previously only I have created this chart. But in the main data, I have changes. So, so the changes should be shown in the graph also. Technology, I have rechanged the name. I have changed the name to IT. So, it has been reflected after I have refreshed it. Please tell me guys, are you getting it or not? Or this topic is very difficult for you. Yes, guys. I think it is very difficult for you. Okay. Once again, I will show you. Here, how many regions are there? First of all, tell me how many regions are there. Let me click here and let me. Let me rename it. Tell me how many regions are here. You can see that. Please tell me here how many regions. Seven. Okay. Now, which region name you want to change? Tell me which region name you want to change. You mean any of your choice? Okay. One is saying that west, one is saying that central, one is saying that east. Okay. Okay. East. I will make a change of east. Give me. Okay. What do you want to rename? East to what? What do you want to name? Rename that East name. East to Hyderabad. Okay, Hyderabad is in the east. Huh? Geographically, if I want to see that India map, Hyderabad is where in the east part. Huh? Where is Hyderabad geographically, guys? Hyderabad, South, yeah. So, South name, I will say that Hyderabad, okay? So, what I will do that, in the main data, I will make a change. Where, this is my main data, guys. This is my main data. Main data, let me rename it in the main data. So, what do you want to rename it? South, entire South. You want to rename by Hyderabad. Right? Hyderabad. 
so i will rename it hyderabad okay correct and make a change in the main data yes in the main data the name has been changed entire south has been renamed to hyderabad fine and let me save it control s control s now in the main data has been changed hyderabad okay now in my power bi desktop now here also you have rename it so south you have rename it to hyderabad so here also the south has been renamed to hyderabad okay but how it will possible every time you need to click on this refresh button refresh button after refresh now you can see that the south has been converted into hyderabad or not please tell me are you getting it the south has been replaced by hyderabad in the main data i have changed it but in the visualization also it because uh, it should uh, give me the result how just i will do the refresh option getting it or not please tell me guys till now i have not explained you schedule refresh only refresh option i have explained are you getting it or not guys please tell me first of all if my main data got changed if any visualizations i have made from the main data if the main data got changed in the visualization it should reflect it please tell me guys are you getting it or not everyone getting or not okay getting it okay fine now from this i have made a dashboard now let me come to the dashboard dashboard let me come here in the dashboard where is the dashboard name schedule refresh dashboard 6th april now what i have make a changes technology i have converted into high it and south i have converted into hyderabad here also it should make a change yes. here also it should make a changes but here it is not there so how i will do that changes first of all here uh, what i need to do i need to replace it whatever the changes i have done over here in power bi desktop it should, should be reflect over here also but here it is not changes even though if i will refresh it if i will refresh it here is the refresh option or here also it is a refresh option let me refresh it also after refresh also technology is not converted into it and south is not been converted into hyderabad after refresh also so what i will do guys what i will do guys i will first of all publish again i need to publish it let me click here because i want to make a changes in power bi service also my dashboard is also been changed let me click here save already it has been saved by this name and where again i need to see that my workspace let me click here my workspace and select it so there is already the report and dashboard is there so they are asking me do you want to replace this data set because i want to make a changes i want to see the changes in power bi service also so i will say that replace it because in the main data i have make a changes so i will click here replace it and it's got success okay it said that replace you have replaced the main data set with the change data set in power bi service also i will see it is got it and again let me come to the power bi here also let me come here and let me re refresh it but it is not changes again i need to come over here 
and what i will do that here is the refresh option is there this is the data set is there main data set main data set semantic model is always the data set guys 6th april report here also 6th april report is there so here also 6th april report and dashboard is there uh, report is there and this is semantic model means data here also i will refresh now so refresh has been done okay refresh has been done now let me see that whether here let me open the report also and let me refresh it here also once again yes after that it and hyderabad got changed how i have done here in my workspace i have re replaced first of all replace it uh, first of all i have replaced it uh, again after refreshing i have replaced it and then i have refresh it here also i have refresh it after that i can see the changes if i will open it here i can see that it and hyderabad is there now let me see that uh, whether in the dashboard it has been there or not 6th april yes in the dashboard also now it has been changed so what is happen if here i can say that if in the main data from the main data first of all i have make power visualization visualization i have created visualization where sorry my my keypad is uh, is not working uh, so spelling mistake is there i created visualization just a second guys here my keypad is not working properly let me explain I have created a visualization where I have created in Power BI desktop. Power BI desktop. And after that, I have published where I have published in Power BI service. Power BI service. Also there, report is also there in Power BI service. The report is also there. Along with that, uh, uh, data set is also there. Data set is called a semantic model. And from that, dashboard is also there. So, if the main data got changes, I need to refresh it. And again, I need to publish it. Then only there has been changes done in Power BI service. Who is the mediator between now? If you will want that, First of all, tell me who is the mediator in that entire process. In the main data, if I will make a changes, if in the dashboard, I want to see that changes. First of all, who is the mediator? Tell me, mediator in the entire process. Power BI is the mediator. Power BI having two names, Power BI Desktop and Power BI Service. Now tell me who is the mediator? From if you want that data, if you change it in the dashboard directly, it should reflect. Now tell me who is the mediator in the entire process. Anybody of you? If in the data, if you got a changes, and if you want to see directly the changes in the dash dashboard, this is the dashboard. This is the dashboard, guys. This is the dashboard. Now, first of all, one who is the mediator in the entire process? Data not. See this one. Data visualization is created where i have created a visualization power bi desktop then power bi service is coming in power bi service i am having report data set and dashboard i want if i will make a changes in the original data directly it should reflect in the dashboard i want that but there is a mediator desktop yes 
दैट इज करेक्ट पावर बी आई डेस्कटॉप इज अ मीडिएटर इफ पावर बी आई डेस्कटॉप इज नॉट डेयर आई कैन नॉट मेक अ चेंजेस इन द पावर बी आई सर्विस राइट नाउ हियर इन द एंटायर प्रोसेस पावर बी आई डेस्कटॉप इज अ मीडिएटर सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई मेक अ चेंजेस इन द रिफ्रेश इट एंड देन अगेन आई हैव पब्लिश इट एंड अगेन आई हैव रिफ्रेश देयर इन पावर बी आई सर्विस डेस्कटॉप इज अ मीडिएटर नाउ इफ एनी बडी विल टेल यू दैट कैन यू प्लीज रिमूव द मीडिएटर इफ इफ आई वॉन्ट टू रिमूव द मीडिएटर मीडिएटर दैट इज पावर बी आई डेस्कटॉप पावर बी आई डेस्कटॉप इज देयर वॉट डू यू वॉन्ट फ्रॉम द डेटा इफ द डेटा गॉट चेंजेस main data got changes sorry my key here in my laptop the keypad is not working properly if the main data got changes i want like that directly it should visible in power bi desktop power bi desktop sorry in power bi dashboard 